There are some really ugly mouths in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it's time we talked about it. Yeah, normally I don't think about this, I'm sure you don't either, because it's not like all the ugly mouth havers are usually in the same room together. I sure hope they're not at least. If your island is filled with villagers garnished in nasty mouths, let me just hop in line to not visit. I only thought about it when Prince moved onto my island, uninvited, unwelcome, and seemingly a frog except where the human skin is peeking through. But we'll get back to him later. His daunting presence made me consider some of the other unfortunate mouths in this game, which led to the question, who does have the absolute worst mouth in Animal Crossing? Now there's some pretty serious contenders. In fact, when I started working on the list, I realized that there's a lot more than I thought. So let's just start investigating this shit in order of best to worst, and then we can like fight about it in the comments or behind a Dairy Queen out in the desert. I don't care. I will say I'm leaving out some of the just plain weird mouths. Though they are indeed noteworthy, but aren't necessarily awful. Like some of the squiggly ones, you know? Maybe they're bad in theory, but to me they're just not in the same category as the rest of these. So here we go. We have 16 unfortunate creatures on this list, and we're starting with the best of the worst. Number 16, which is Groucho. Now before you get your toes in a wad and say, but Liz, you said you're not including squiggly mouths. Shut up, let me talk. I don't call this an intentional squiggly mouth like you might find on Jeremiah or Tad. No, either someone was drunk when designing this guy and got carried away with the sharpie, or they couldn't decide if he should be frowning or smiling, and so they tried to do both. You cannot tell me the dips on either side are supposed to be fangs either because plenty of villagers do have actual visible teeth, but not this guy. He has a frowning smile and worried eyebrows which basically all cancel each other out and make him look super confusing. So I count this as the best of the worst mouths. Now to really piss off some people, because for number 15 we have Miss Flurry. She would honestly be so cute, but the misplaced pink fleshy colored blob of a mouse is so fucking jarring and there's simply no nose. No wonder she gets called Voldemort. I know what they were going for, but they failed and it's just not right. Even more people will be displeased to learn that number 14 is none other than Puddles. It's not the V shape of her mouth, that in itself is actually pretty cute. It's the wacky coloring. Is she wearing a dark pink ski mask of some sort or did she only put sunscreen on her eyes and mouth? Who knows, but it's bad. Now you may wonder why Eugene is here at number 13 when his mouth is just a line. But you see, it's the angle of that line. It's everything it stands for. It's the fact that it's a perma smirk riddled with abundant arrogance. The audacity of this fuck-ass man-child is too much. In the 12th spot, we have Axel, and he doesn't seem that bad at first glance, but there's simply no reason for an elephant to be going around perpetually grinning like this with all of his teeth out. Unacceptable, get him out of here. Pietro, being a clown, does in fact have a whole ass clown mouse, which is an absolute nightmare to society. Listen, Pudge's mouth goes beyond the standard squiggly situation that I mentioned earlier. Someone got way too freaky with the sharpie this time. Look what they did to this poor kid. Pair it with his worried ass eyebrows and this is a totally unacceptable mouth. Chow's mouth seems fine when it's in neutral, but get him to do any smiling emote and you'll regret having eyes. Oh Miss Tabby, there's just no reason for all of that girl, absolutely none. I'm tired just looking at you. Do everyone and yourself a favor and just frown a little. Acquire a resting bitch face, please I'm begging. I know a lot of you aren't ready for this conversation, but we have Jambet herself in number 7. Listen, we have to be real, this is a frog. This is a frog with a pink ass human lips and lipstick. 
giant ones at that. Why is anyone calling this a sleigh? Aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you want to be honest? Get this girl some help and a species appropriate mouth for fuck's sake. All of Rodney, his mouth included, is one of the worst things in this game. This is the incel mouth on the other side of the voice chat while you're playing Valorant, COD, Overwatch, or any FPS game. This filthy infected mouth is the one calling you slurs. He doesn't even own a bar of soap. Twice a year, his poor mother dares to peek down into the rotten depths of her basement to remind him to get clean for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And even then, he uses the fucking 15-in-1 product from hell and it only makes him worse. Despicable. Limburg is a mouse with a fucking predator man, 5 o'clock shadow, and literally no one should have to look at him. Harry is the same, maybe a bit more innocent looking, but he's still a hippo with way too much human facial hair, which never fails to leave me puking. Goodbye. And now in number 3, the menace himself, who could have been a regular old frog with a bit of an off-putting darker green circle around his mouth. But no, they didn't stop there. They copy-pasted some human flesh right into the middle of that mess and created a cursed nightmare for us to behold. Congratulations, coach. You have the second to the worst mouth in this game. We are yet again forced to behold another animal, this time a fucking bull, with fuck-ass human facial hair. But this time it's gnarlier and uglier than ever. This is a suburban dad who complains when his wife gains a couple pounds but doesn't do shit to take care of himself or maintain his own appearance, and he secretly committed crimes too despicable to talk about in this video. Go straight to prison, sir. And finally, is anyone who knows me really surprised to find that our number one worst mouth in Animal Crossing New Horizons belongs to Mr. Barrel the Predator himself? You sure shouldn't be. My loathing for this cretin will never be a secret. There is no excuse for what was created here. There are so many potential issues with this design that I am not even going to get into right now. But ultimately, beside the fact that he has a plethora of actual cameras to spy on his island with, we have the worst case yet of human facial hair and pink ass nasty lips on a fucking walking talking tiny man bear. It doesn't get any worse than this y'all. So anyway, I hope you had a lovely time beholding the worst mouths in this game, and I hope you never have to experience any of them in person. Please send eviction vibes to Prince as I try to get him the fuck off my island. I will not apologize, and I will continue to shit talk these fuck ass losers, so have a snazzy time zone friends. Bye.